Let's take a look at question one. What does question one want us to do? All right. They require us to simplify the fraction. All right. They require us to simplify the question. So how do we simplify question one in this case? All right. Uh, Daniel, are you there? I saw you coming in. Daniel. Mm -hmm. Ah, how do you simplify the fraction? Number one. Uh, what do you do? I remember doing it with Atika last week. And in mm -hmm. your revision test too, there's a similar question like that as well. Reduce the fraction with 3. Okay, so 6 and 3 can be reduced to what? Mm, reduce to 2 and 0. Oh, um, no, 2 and 0, huh? okay. Okay, so both divisible by 3. So uh, di 6 divided by 3 gives you 2. 3 yeah. divided by 3 gives you, not 0, zero. gives you? One. Ah, it's a one, ah. it's not a zero. Okay, now I'm going to help you. Ah. Daniel, you look at x square and x. Which one is bigger? Hmm? x square and the x below. Which one is bigger? Oh, x square. Ah, so the one bigger, of course, still left with something, right? So you see, ah, the one below is smaller, right? So I divide by x. How, how many x? Only one x, ma. So x square, I divide by x, is left with how many x? Mm, x. Ah, just only one, right? Okay, now take a look at the last one. The last one is y and y to the power of 4, right? Which one is bigger? Mm. Uh, y to the power of 4. Ah, y to the power of 4. So I divide both by y. So if on top divide by y, what is left? Mm, only the below one, uh, the y. Ah. So left with y, y to the power of? 3. Ah, very good. Then now I combine everything together. Ah. Now I combine everything together. What number do you have on top? 2x. Ah, very good. What do you have below? Mm, y to the power of 3. Ah, that's it. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Ah. ah, if I want to make y the subject, what must I do to y? Uh, again? Move to the left. Ah, move to the left. So, all the y must be on the left side. So, Luffy, if I want to move to the left, what will you rewrite as? A y minus two y minus two y is equal to b. So Luffy is correct, ah. Huh? I want to make y the subject. Y must be on the left. But now Luffy on the screen, oh, how come there are two terms with y? How do I make it one term? Bring the a y minus two y equal to b. But I don't want a y minus two y. I only want to see one y. What must I do? Bring the a over. No, if I bring the A over, no choice. If I bring the A over, the Y is still there. One. You see, ah, there's a... Okay, I underline for you. Ah, there's a Y over here. There's a Y over here. How do I make sure I only write one Y? I don't want two Y. Use the F word. Bracket. Bracket. Ah, bracket. You will need to factorize the Y out. So if I factorize the Y out, what is left inside the bracket? 1 minus 2. Uh, no, not y minus 2. Look carefully. You take out y for a y, you are left. A minus, a minus 2. Ah, a minus 2. Then if I want to make y the subject, what must you do? Bring the over. Ah, which will become divide uh, a minus 2 at the denominator. <laughs> Alright, this is very important. Uh. You will always have one question like this every year. X over to the other side. Okay. Okay. I only want the term with B, right? Very good. So I balance the AX on the other side. You balance AX on the other side becomes? Minus AX. Ah, minus AX. But I want only B. This is a BY. What must I do to the Y? Divide. Yes, very good. I want to make B the subject. So I divide. Sorry, I write too fast. Let me rewrite again. So I only want to make B the subject. So in this case, like what Sabrina say, you will divide by Y. Why? Right? The examples are quite similar. 
I'm going to say again, completing the square has only have two key steps. Half the value of x, you will see in the highlighted x, is negative 4. So let's half the value of negative 4. So you write negative 2 and put it in the bracket. Subtract the square of that number. What is the square of that number? The number that you just wrote down. So subtract the square of that number there. Alright? You have completed the square. However, I will always tell the class, please remember, alright? There is a number over here. Please continue to write the number, alright? You will need to continue to write the number. Then after that, simplify it. The one in the bracket, don't do anything. Then, whatever is outside the bracket, go and use the calculator and simplify. Now, Javier, tell me what are the value of A and B. A is 2. A, A is not 2. Look carefully. Negative 2, negative 2. What is B? Uh, where? Negative 10. This two mark is easy giveaway, but you must know the song. Ask you to sing, nobody wants to sing. The keyword here is hence. What's the meaning of hence? Yes, the answer. Ah, the keyword here is hence. If you have watched the video this morning, ah, there are two different kind of examples that I give. If the example say hence, you must use the previous answer. If the example say hence or otherwise, yes, I will encourage you to use the quadratic formula. So, Kendra, can I use the quadratic formula here? No. No. So, I must use what? The answer in A. Ah, the answer in A. Can you see exactly yeah, the, ans the question in part B and the question in part A are the same? Alright? So, if I want to use the answer in A, what will you write? What will you write, Kendra? This part is equal to this question in part B, correct? In part A, what was your answer? What is my answer? It's on the screen now. Huh? What is my answer in part A? Negative 2 and negative 10. No, that's for A and B. But they tell you the equation can be expressed as what? This part. So how to write? Kendra? X minus 2 square minus 10 equals 0. Okay. In my video, the very first example has something like this. If the question say, hence, you die die must use the answer in part 1. But it doesn't mean that you just write the A and B. Because the equation can be written in this form. Then I replace by the completing the square. Next, please don't go and expand the bracket and use quadratic formula. You are not supposed to do that. What are we supposed to do over here in this case? Chani? Chani? Yeah. Ah, what do you do in order for us to solve? Get rid of the square. Okay, what you need to do is you need to square root. And Ken Hao is correct. When you do square root, you must have plus minus. This means to say x minus 2 is positive root of 10 or x minus 2 is negative root 10. But I don't want to press the calculator first. So I do it one shot. Then you can press the calculator now. Alright? Chani, you come back again. Root 10 plus 2. Can you tell me what's the answer? Chani, are you there?
zero. Okay. Zero. It's not zero. Can you press again? Negative root ten plus two. Check your calculator again. It's not zero. Negative one point one six. 